the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want I love that so much you know it's short sweet straight to the point it covers it has covered everything your shepherd knows what you want your shepherd knows where there's green grass the shepherd knows where there's clean water the shepherd know knows where the, the ship will be protected and there won't be anything that is malicious that can get into its way or devour it the shepherd has already done all the calculations all the thinking all the strategizing and the shepherd just leads and you just follow and that is what you have to do Welcome to my channel. This is Slangy and in today's video I really want this to be an uplifting message because so many times we tend to be fixated on things that are not currently working out um, in our lives or things which have not yet fallen into place forgetting that there are those little things that God does which you also know that mm, could have only been God <laughs> but we don't see those because you're like it is not the big car that I wanted. It's not the big job that I wanted. It's not the big house that I wanted. So we tend to overlook it. If God can do exceedingly and abundantly more than what I had initially asked for, why is it that so many things are just not falling into place? And of course, this is in your head because you really want that particular thing. But sometimes the more things get denied, the more you realize that perhaps this is not what I'm supposed to have right now. And trust me, God knows what it is that you want just the way that you want it and if he feels like it does not align with what he has in store for you then it's not going to work no matter how much you pray no matter how much you give him praise it's not going to work there's so many things that we desperately want we can curse and stop praying and say that God oh you're not a faithful God but he remains a faithful God whether we like it or not he remains a faithful God and whether we like it or not he knows us better than we know ourselves so example number one for me funny enough I've never ever paid for my fees somehow they always get paid when we started it was Nesfus um, that paid and of course Nesfus I have to pay it back so in my undergrad, I think that was the first two years of my undergrad, um, that was that. Then I got bursaries after bursary after bursaries and stuff like that. So something like my fees, I knew for a fact that that is something that I don't worry about. You know, it's definitely going to be taken care of. And because it's a bigger thing, funny enough, we tend to have more faith because you equate your faith to the magnitude of what it is that you want God to do for you. <laughs> And if something is small, you, you feel like, no, I can do it by myself. I don't need God. I don't need to consult. And that is where we go wrong in most cases because you start um, a certain journey or you start a certain friendship or a relationship or work or you've applied for a certain job. You have not consulted God. You did not ask for wisdom. And God is just like, I don't want you there. <laughs> You're not going to go there because it's just not good for you. But because you didn't consult, because you didn't get the discernment and you know the spirit talking to you, you just kept on being frustrated and then what typically happens to most of us, we stop praying because we're angry, we're frustrated and that is when we should pray more because that is what the devil wants us to do, to be rebellious, to not seek God and so many things. Anyway, second example that I'm going to give, um, I hate cooking. If I say I hate cooking, I I really mean it guys I hate cooking I I think it's the admin of chopping the veggies and cleaning around and stuff like that so I just want someone to chop cook and put it everything laid ready for me and it just can't mix and stare and whatever that I can do and one day I was going to the dining hall because I ate at the school's dining hall one day I was going to the dining hall and I was like um is this not God taking care of the small things um, that he knows frustrate me or irritate me because now I don't have to cook you know I don't have to pay for food I don't have to buy food because the bursary takes care of that and I literally had a moment where I started getting teary because I realized that on that day and other days God keeps coming um, and showing up for me in the small things which I didn't even see he's taking care of you know because I was too fixated on the bigger things that I really wanted the third thing is 
sometimes you want to go somewhere or you want to you want to badly work at that place and god knows your heart god knows your character he knows that you're easily frustrated he knows that certain environments will not work for you as they say god give um the toughest battles to his toughest soldiers so maybe you he could have looked at you and was like oh my dear child this one will not survive <laughs> and because you are looking at i need the money i need to be able to do this this and this and this and that why can't i get a job and god is like because a greater opportunity where the environment will be good where you won't have to beg where you'll be recognized for your efforts is still on its way it has not come yet in the meantime work on your other talents and improve but you're like no i can't be because i want it right now and god is like if only you knew if only you knew that I've been saving you and so many times we don't see God's hand at work if we feel like it's not what we wanted so we always feel like God only works in yeses you know so if God said yes as they say God's answers are yes and not now so usually the not nows we tend to be angry and frustrated because you're like okay God clearly just don't care I mean there are other children who are flourishing what about me but God is like child I know your character <laughs> I know your destiny. I'm the one who has the key. I'm the one who knows the timeline. I'm the one who has the time steps. Honestly, just relax. You know, rest, rest. And we don't want to rest. We just want to be fighting everything. Um, the third example that I'm going to give is so where I stay, there are a lot of homeless. Um, and sometimes when I come back from school late, you find them sleeping at the corners of buildings and stuff like that. And honestly, that touches me. To get back home and be able to sleep in my bed, have a, a duvet cover, whatever it is, have pillows, have a restful evening, have a roof over my, shell, um, my head, is a blessing that I do not take for granted. Because when you see how much people suffer, when you see someone going into a bin and trying to find anything that they can, hoping that someone threw away leftovers in there and they're going to take that to eat for that particular day, once you see that, you'll start realizing that God comes through for you in the smallest little things. And we really need to be grateful. The next example, before this gets teary, because the tears are just always nearby. <laughs> I wanted Pampers Grass so bad. And I have a friend who has um, a business that sells this. So it's at Shop Me. I've once talked about them in some of my videos. But anyway, I'll put the link to the website in the description so that you guys can browse through in case you need anything. So they were currently running a promo. I think it was a New Year promo. And I saw it and I was like, I really want this Pampers Grass, you know, for my video backgrounds. But I didn't have enough money. And I was like, I'm just going to sort, I mean, sort out this money to the other stuff that we need like electricity and stuff like that and i left it like that funny enough uh my friend actually called me and she was like so after some i think it was after a month or something like that and she was like i'm really thinking of doing pr um for shop me and i want you to be in my pr list and i was like what and so when we we're discussing there were new vases uh, that we're coming through i think they've arrived now you guys will see when you check it out so she was like okay maybe i can give you a vase a new vase for a background and you know, as part of pr and stuff like that and i was so excited because that was my first pr uh <laughs> pr package and yes she's my friend but then she didn't have to she didn't have to give it to me she could have given it to other people who she felt like were more influential you know I, as we're discussing the vases and stuff and as I, I do have a vase which i bought from her last year and i'm like well but then i do have a vase so um maybe something else and before i could say that she was the one who was like actually you do have a vase because you bought a vase maybe i should just give you pampas grass and guys i've been wanting it and i just couldn't afford it at the time and here's an opportunity coming just coming my way out of nowhere and she's telling me you know what i'll actually send you pampas grass and i was like oh, god come on come on come on you know it's we've never talked about this i've never told her that i want pampas grass but she just felt like it will be a good thing to send it to me so 
this is part of the small things that I'm talking about, you know, the things that are in your heart. If it's not happening right now, it doesn't mean that God is not listening and is not making a way. He will not put you in a place where he will fail to provide for you. He knows the right time. He knows the right environment. There is no need for you to stress yourself in things that do not concern you. Actually, right now, that's what I tell myself every day. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to stress myself with things that do not concern me. Lord, it is your business to take care of me. I'm just going to do whatever you've given, the small task that you've given me, but everything else in terms of what works, what doesn't work, where I'm at, what I'll eat tomorrow, where I'll be, where the money is going to come from, I don't care. I don't want to know. I don't want to know how it gets done, but Lord, I trust you. And this has worked for me. Yes, yeah, sometimes it might not be as luxurious as I would have wanted it, but then it fulfills the need of whatever I wanted that particular thing to do. So don't give up. Don't be angry at God. It doesn't help. It's not going to get you anywhere because you're going to come right back to him. Um, don't throw away the towel. Don't give in. Always have encouraging scriptures that you wake up to, even if you can't um, pray or you feel like you don't want to pray. Just have that encouraging scripture that reminds you of who God is. Ooh. And, and God's power so for me I say this is the day that the Lord has made I shall you know I shall rejoice and be glad in it and when things are not going my way I just recite that I, I could be in my heart I could be loud about it but I just say that boldly say that, that this is the day that the Lord has made and I shall rejoice and be glad in it and trust you me I will rejoice <laughs> and be glad and another one that I love is let go and let God. Oh, come on, somebody. If you didn't have a favorite scripture, you can adopt this one. <laughs> Sharing is caring. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Thank you for watching this video, everybody. I really hope that you found it to be uplifting and, you know, as a reminder of the so many things that God does in our lives. It could be the lovely skies. It could be seeing the sunset. You know, the privilege of still having eyes that see. It could be about your body. It still functions properly. It's still in good condition. It could be about your mind. Some people are depressed. So many people have been thrown off by the pandemic. Some are depressed. They have not recovered. Some have been retreated it could be the fact that you always go to bed having had something in your stomach you have clothes to wear you have running water you have clean water you have so many things at your disposal and you want to tell me that God doesn't take care of the little things no way no way if you feel any other way it's mm, the other guy trying to frustrate you and <laughs> mess up your head. Do take care, keep well, and as always, remember to be kind. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.